what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will continue with our new series practical astrology and today i have my friend ankit hi from germany he is studying electrical engineering masters in the university of magdeburg here it's a beautiful place very nice university and today we will see how to decide which subject to take in electrical engineering because i made a video on how to decide for computer science because i was myself studying computer science but i don't know how anything about electrical engineering so i caught him when i came to his home and now finally i have got the time as the rule goes wherever you have benefits for example jupiter mercury moon and venus those subjects you can try and those places which have malefics for example saturn rahu ketu or sun or mars it is good if you can avoid those houses also we know every house what it means and accordingly we will see how the subjects are related to that house and for example suppose i say fifth house is for political uh, power system analysis for example he will explain it what is that but for example i am saying suppose you have a benefit uh, like jupiter in the fifth house then subjects like uh, power system analysis can be very good for you i will explain what the houses mean and if you already know that's good but you will have a broad understanding of what it is okay so now let us start before beginning as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there yeah <laughs> he knows it <laughs> he is also he also keeps seeing my videos now i have come to know that's the proof okay now let's see of the lagna itself the first house the rising sign the ascendant whenever what whichever sign was rising in the eastern horizon when sun was transiting all right so what is the lagna lagna is the first house it represents the body it represents your image it represents your name fame what people think of you how you appear in this world what's the impression about you that's the lagna right that's the first house so here first house represents new beginnings new innovations things which is exclusive to you and it is not possible for any subject to come under the lagna because lagna is the sum total it is the totalitarian flavor of all the houses so things like innovation etc which are very specific only to you because lagna is representing the head which is your intelligence those subjects within any domain can come in the first house like being leader in some domain or trying to do something new there and doing something which nobody has done basically all right that comes under the lagna now so we don't have any specific subject pertaining to the lagna but for the other houses we have for example what does the second house represent second house represents your combined resources it is the total wealth that you have so if there are subjects in electrical engineering which my friend will very expertly tell now related to the matters of the second house which is resources wealth etc okay distribution of data and all this then uh, it can come under this house so according to him what comes in the second house please tell <laughs> i think the research and uh, scada or supervisory control and data acquisition would be the most suitable uh, subject uh, matter for this house as beautifully my friend explained <laughs> <laughs> so i uh, for this reason i think the most probable subject for this would be the research and the scada okay so this involves uh, research re regarding resources and all this and as he yes, said that exactly. uh, people who are connected to electrical electrical right yes electrical <laughs> i get confused between <laughs> electrical and <laughs> electronics i am very bad at that sorry there's no electronics here it's only electrical okay i will take care of that okay <laughs> so he feels that uh, anybody who is from electrical yes <laughs> <laughs> should be knowing about what scada is for example like we all know what it plays if you are from a computer science background or it or software engineering even we also know <laughs> <laughs> okay, but i don't know what scada is 
Okay, so he feels that uh, research under SCADA supervisory control and data acquisition etc. can come under the second house as per view of resources. Now we will go to the third house number three as we say in German. Dry. Dry, yeah. Dry. Das ist dry. Zwei <laughs> 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 so ist two, dry ist three. Dritte Haus. Haus Nummer dry. Dry. Okay, he's an expert in speaking German. Yesterday he cleared his uh, B1 exam, I guess, which is known as B1. No, my, right? actually my friend has a little bit, uh, he's like exaggerating a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he knows about me. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go to the third house without any delay. What is third house? Third house deals with short distance communication, short distance encounters, anything which is nearby, anything which happens within a day. Okay, that's the third house as we all know. So, communication etc. which is very short lived etc. For example, nearby places or things which are within your town or within your city, those things are dealt with the third house. So, what do you feel third house? I think uh, subjects related to electrical engineering instrument and measurement or uh, analog electronic circuits or uh, microprocessor and microcontroller because we have very uh, short connections uh, the wires or uh, the connections related to the different devices in this are very short or it's very near so I think uh, these subjects would be the most suitable for and, this house. And I think the time which they need for the communication yeah, is also exactly, very less. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the that is also very little. microprocessor, microcontroller. My exactly. God, I did all those in bachelor's, not again. <laughs> and what is this FPGA? Yeah, FPGA is also a, a new technology which is coming up app, and uh, this is also related to the to this kinds of subject matter. Okay, yeah, and I think your hand movements are not visible because the camera is very much high, so maybe you can do a bit here. <laughs> okay, okay, now we will go to the fourth house. Fourth house is very important because fourth house is representing to storage the combined storage what we have because fourth house is the house of home, property, land, real estate, hotels, etc. Because those are the places where we go and relax. That is the ultimate house of shelter, that is the ultimate place where we end up going at the end of the day so what do you think comes under fourth house in electrical right yes uh, i think energy storage or uh, subjects like uh, regenerative braking because uh, uh, regenerative braking also involves kind of energy storage so i think these subjects would be the most suitable for uh, this house all right so he has only two names for this house no problem now we go to the number five, fifth house of love romance, right? No romance in electrical. <laughs> <laughs> what is fifth house? Fifth house is the house of planning. Where you plan, fifth house is the house of projection. What you project to the outer world, what you actually want to do. That is setting goals and making a architecture basically. So it is also the house of education. It is also the house of learning, training, etc. So according to him, there are two subjects which come under this. I think power system analysis or power system economics would be the most suitable subjects for this house uh, as it deals with the analysis or something related to as my friend said. <laughs> <laughs> planning, planning. Yes, of course, planning. It's the projection basically, how to plan things, how to take things ahead. That's the fifth house. That's yes. why it's very important. Well, now we have the sixth house. Sixth house is the house of enemies is the house of quarrels deceits divorce breakups breakups right yeah <laughs> so many breakups these days <laughs> so now in sixth house we can do with subjects which deal with protection from enemies if i am yeah. not wrong okay and apart from that it can be how to prevent something from happening etc all this comes okay so now he feels that there are two subjects which come under this. No, actually it's just one subject. <laughs> it's just one end. It is a switch gear and protection because uh, it deals with the protection of the power system from some failures like short circuit or uh, some uh, uh, less faults like lightning. So maybe I think uh, this would be the most probable subject for 
Okay, this, so this house. the poor sixth house is only one, uh, not planet, only one subject. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Less of the planets in the sixth, better it is. Even for subjects, I guess. Okay, so now we come to the seventh house of marriage, right? Seventh house of union, seventh house of... <laughs> <laughs> seventh house always likes to embrace other people. So what is the seventh house? It's the house of balance it is the house of collaboration it is the house of stability stability it is the house where we try to balance things because it is the original house of libra if i'm not wrong yes, yes. libra is the seventh house of marriage exactly <laughs> <laughs> so he feels there is only one system any subject only one okay which uh, comes under as this. i think you must all be knowing about this subject uh, it is control system as it deals with stability so I didn't find any other subject more suitable for this house. I think uh, this would be the most suitable subject for this. So, I think uh, this subject is very good placed in this house control system. Okay, it deals with stability and yes. how to uh, maintain balance in the system. I think it exactly. deals with all these things. Yes. Okay, now let's go to the dark house, the eighth house. Eighth house is the house of secrecy. Eighth house is the house of death and rebirth. So, subjects like... Renewable, renewable energy sources. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you feel? What comes under this? I think uh, renewable energy sources is the most probable because yeah, the energy is being uh, reused. Reused again. Again and again. Yeah. Okay. So, so renewable energy uh, sources, sources is yes. one subject which can come under this. Yes. So, if you have benefits in the eighth house, don't miss this subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we have the ninth house of. God and spirituality. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where God is, but currently we need subjects related to the ninth house. Ninth house is what? It is the house of law. It is the house of rules, regulations, restrictions. It is the house of court. It is the house of law, as I said. Okay. And then ninth house also deals with things like long distance long. communication and uh, setting things outside to the world because it's yeah. the higher octave of the fifth house. So it's like the father of the fifth house. Okay. So uh, what do you think comes under ninth house, long distance, etc.? I think as you explained about this house, the most probable subject I found was uh, transmission and distribution systems because it also deals with long distances of uh, transmission of power. And also subjects like mobile technologies and uh, digital communication systems, which is the current technology in the world. Yes. And we are also talking because of that. Oh. <laughs> also. <laughs> all thanks to the ninth house. All thanks to God. There you see. <laughs> also, there is one more subject like high voltage engineering, uh, because it also deals with uh, long distance communication of power. Okay, yeah. there you go. Maximum planets in the ninth house and the third house. There yeah. you see. Ninth house is very good. Practice spirituality, okay? You will improve in electrical also. <laughs> electrical, right? Yes, of okay. course. <laughs> Electronics. All right, let's go to the house of the king. Let's go to the tenth house. What is the tenth house? Tenth house is the house of the authority. Tenth house is the house of decisions. One who decides what to do, when to do, where to do, with whom to do, right? Yeah. So, it is the house which deals with decisions and uh, it is the power in the chart. Okay. So, now we will see what comes out of this. I think subjects like unit commitment and generation scheduling or uh, even the subjects like control systems because uh, it also it deals with some administration in this uh, in the house and uh, where we plan something like unit commitment and generation scheduling is something where we require some decision making or things Decisions, like that. Decisions, yes. yes. of course. So, that's the probable reason why I think it, this subject should be in this house. Okay, beautiful. Now, we have the 11th house. What is the 11th house? 11th house is the house of large networking circles, large organizations. 11th house represents the sign of Aquarius, which is the house where Saturn finds its Multricom. Yes, Aquarius. And it is co-ruled by Rahu. So, it is the house which deals with innovations. And 11th house is the house of elites. So, it represents the higher octave of the 10th house because it is second from the 10th house. And it represents those areas or those technologies which are currently booming, which is in the talk, 
which is becoming more and more famous every day for computer science like example machine learning so even in electrical right in electrical yeah. he feels there are certain topics which are blooming which is with every other technology every other subject so yeah so for this i think automation or image processing or even there is one new technology known as fuel cell the electrical guys would be knowing this so these are the new buzzing words which are coming up in this uh, house so i think uh, these subjects would be the most suitable for this okay so 11th house is automation image processing and, and fuel, fuel cell. cell these are kind of uh, the hot topics the hot yeah. kicks every 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 leader of the company or every leader of any big organization is talking towards all this right yeah now let's go to the last house 12th house of spirituality 12th house of foreign lands 12th house of laws long distance foreign travels etc international fame is 12th house so here we can deal with things which prevent the loss of anything because 12th house is the house of loss ultimately is called vyaya bhav yes so what do you think comes under the 12th house i think power system quality would be the most suitable because it deals with the quality of the system where we take care that the quality doesn't get disturbed the performance basically the, yes the performance okay so there's so, like too much energy excess loss is uh, uh, yeah. pro prohibited there yes, so, exactly. so it, it keeps a, a bottleneck or a, what, what do you say that uh, it keeps a reality check yes it okay. has a it has a benchmark maybe in benchmark this, yes, yes exactly so that will it's uh, something standard oh that's standard iso yeah. standard for I, kitchens ex right exactly I'm always thinking of food. <laughs> All right, that is it from my side. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. Yeah, see now he's telling you must do it. Okay, <laughs> I'm not telling this time. If I tell people don't subscribe, he is see, my now dear friend. Telling. Please subscribe. Yeah, he. You have to subscribe now. You are obliged now. <laughs> and uh, if they like this video, what should they do? There's a There's, button. Yeah, <laughs> please uh, push the notification bell. Oh yeah, yeah, along with that, please like the video. So see, yes. he's feeling very shy. It's his first time in the camera. <laughs> so please excuse him. Please don't write comments like he's not, uh, he's not into it or he's out into it. No, 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 no. He's fully into it. Don't worry. That is why he has told you all those. Okay. And remember the day when you first shooted your video, pro provided you have shooted it. So then you will realize how difficult it is to come into the camera. All right, that is it from my side. If you know somebody who is struggling like him in electrical, then please <laughs> share this video. Or if you know somebody who is about to start his master's or bachelor, so that these subjects can help him. And I will write this list below. Okay. Until next time, what you should do now? Say Tata. bye bye. Bye bye. See you. And in German, what you say? Tschüss. Tschüss. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>